This is my latest plant hole that I just spotted up last night. Have a look in the bottom there. There you go, I need to take it out or else they are going to go leggy being kept here. So some of them actually, like this one here, I've had it in here <laughs> for almost two weeks. There's more in there that I have now to take outside where there is sun and a lot of light. My garden is a little bit of a mess right now because I've been moving a lot of the plants around. This is a newly purchased pot of variegated and reverted variegated Echeveria agita that I moved from there to here. And also this is Bronze Delight variegated that has been growing indoors and that's why there's a fungus nest issue on the tip there. Just want to get scissor because I want to chop you off. Okay, so anything, it's growing season right now so it's the best time to, hang on go. <laughs> I'm just dropping it. Did you drop or did you fall into the bowl? Doesn't matter. So you get the idea. Now it fell down. Okay, a leaf here, see? One of my pot broke. Oh, look, I was moving a pot, this one, uh, Blue Surprise, and look, it broke, so I have to glue it on. It's already got a crack on it when I bought it. That's why I got it really cheap, but now it finally gave way. I need to glue that later on. And this one came from under the 50% UV shine cloth area, and then now these are also a couple of months old with it, but they were tiny plants, so I need to have them uh, placed here. Now this one here, so we've got this, and what I'm gonna do, drop the leaves, leaves actually, a couple of them, and I'm gonna take some off as well. See those little babies growing there? Those ones are just all grown from leaves, and most of these, uh, actually, this is already generation, I don't know how many times now I have uh, taken the leaves, I just loosened this up because you need uh, air to go through the soil as well. Okay, it's like when you cultivate your vegetable gardens, the same thing. So just airing the soil. And then anyway, I will continue with this one later on, do chop, 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 and also propagate. I have this corner of the garden where in there's an empty pot over there because I noticed the plants that was there or the pot of plants that was there are starting to go green. And these ones are only new. These are all my Black Echeveria collection. I'm still growing them so they're fine over there and also the Romeo collection over there can stay there or Romeo hybrids most of them. So this is the pot in question. They're starting to go leggy especially this beautiful something milky. You got a milky name? <laughs> yes, it is super milky. Echeveria. See how they form these little bumps, reverse, on the back? They're so cute. I think they're so cute. Anyway, this has now grown. Uh, I had this for a few months now. They're quite easy to grow, so it's also time to propagate that. Now, this one, what are you? I'm checking all the plants. Oh, this is super milky. See, I need to have a label at the back. Oh, I drop a leaf. Now, this leaf will get dropped back into here and I think this might be a moonstone. It's not. San Roberto Cross Rubin. Now it's got a baby. Oh, hang on, don't go there. Sometimes they disappear. Okay, now do I want to save the seeds for this one? I think I just leave it. If in doubt, don't touch it. Now these are all different plants and also Lemaso. This one is a beautiful plant but it's all just going leggy and also the oxalis is growing, so I need to reach in there, feel my way through the oxalis. There you go. Oh, I broke it. I can feel the roots coming up, doesn't matter. I'll come back to it later on. I have worked for a couple of hours in this area this morning because I am moving my pots. I'm looking for spots to put my newly potted succulents. And so far, I actually... Uh, put this one here already. These are just baby propagations that was growing on the other side where I was and now they need to have more light because over where they were they were a little bit in the dark. It's too much shade so now I managed to gain one spot here and also I need to look for a spot for <laughs> my other potted ones that I done a few days ago. So with these ones, hang on, I just need to just a sec, show you. Look, there's water because we had rain 
a couple of nights ago and I left them here still didn't have a chance to take them out but I'll just show you this cute one here don't drop don't drop oopsie look at that isn't it cute this is a new snow something Echeveria star snow <laughs> I have the label at the back so how cute is that so this little fat snow is gonna go over on the other side and also this one here which has got three plants in a pot don't drop it don't drop it so a one a two a three so this is orange snowball and that one is something pink rose this one is uh i think pakipaitum braschetti so again with a little cute owl let's move you over on the other side so i can put this one over it's a bit tight hang on you need to find a spot there you go put you down here that one there what are you? See, I put the name now, and yeah, <laughs> Anna, I can't understand my handwriting. There you go, I put you here, and what else? Oh, there are mostly Ioniums in there. So, oh, look, at the back, I've got a Krasula Buddhist temple that is, I think, needs to be uh, coming out of there, but anyway, this one, I'm going to put you somewhere here. Oops, uh, should I move you up the top? You're so gorgeous. I think of all the fat ones, this is my favorite. Until today I saw a prettier one. Okay, don't drop, okay? Just gonna <laughs> move you there. Don't drop. This is something snow candy or something. A snow and a candy. Now anyway, it's just so gorgeous. It's fat. See that beautiful fatness? But it has like a white farina that is just so rounded. No tips. Look. It doesn't have any nipples on the end uh, of the leaves. They're just rounded. Beautiful. Let's move this over here. Let's move that over there. Oh, also this one. I'm trying to save the flower because I really, really like this one. So this is a Echeveria something, Elegance, Ruben or whatever. But anyway, it's a hybrid, but it's beautiful. And it still needs some drink. But I'll put that there. Oh my goodness, this is... Uh, I still have a spot, but I need space as well so the air can circulate or else you're gonna get fungus now And that's half of my problem. I tend to put them too close together So that leaves no room for the air to go around Anywho this one now I'll put you up the top here and also the other cute one now this one needs to go somewhere else, but this one, I'm still trying to grow this. That's from winter growth. I already got a few growing leaves growing of this one. Anyway, I'll put you somewhere down here when, but I still have to sweep off this area. Now this cute little one can go, where can I put you? So I think I'll swap it around. I don't know where, okay, you can go there because it gets the morning sun. It doesn't get afternoon sun or midday sun, so only the top sort of gets midday sun, but the bottom here doesn't get midday and afternoon sun, but that's good enough. So this one can go here. Now, you need to create room, not too close to each other. Stay away, there you go, that's good enough. Oops, now, there you go, that's better. Now I can probably put something else in here, but doesn't matter for now. Oh yes, you can go there there you go move it there you go you need at least a couple of millimeters gap <laughs> for the air so you can breathe anyway so I'll continue moving my stuff around I've knocked off my Ionian pink witch from its spot over there because I'm going to put another bowl of Ionian that I had growing outside when I took it out before is because the threat of frost is gone, so I thought, yeah, I can take it out. But then now, the area that it's in is exposed to a lot of sun. In the morning, the sun just floods here, and now it's coloring up this Ionium, this bowl of Ionium. But the problem with this one is that it can have too much sun, and it's going to go to sleep. And I don't want it to go to sleep. See, look at that pink witch there. It's already starting to close off. So if I put this in my 50% UV shade cloth area, where the spot of the pink witch was, uh, then it can color up and still continue to grow. But now looking at this pot, this is actually quite a little bit on the large size to where I 
when I put it in so I think I might have to rethink my plan and find another spot for this but for now I'm gonna show you the little fatness that I just found my garden is a mess a big mess all this potting mix ready to put uh, replenish a lot of the pots the strawberries are growing on the side of starting to flower and also my blueberries yay look at all the flowers on the blueberries I'm gonna have lots of fruit this year I fertilized it by the way and I also top it up gave it more soil because it started sinking down so it was already halfway so I Put a shovel on the side and lifted it up and lifted it up and put more soil and then now that's good enough for now to that level so hopefully uh, it doesn't sink too much but anyway that's good enough for the blueberry because they do love water so i have that bit of area to water in and when i flood it then it can soak up the water and not sort of spill out this is what I was talking about. This fatness here, this is Papipaitum oviferum. And look how beautiful that is. So a lot of people probably are selling this as Graptopetalum amethystinum. This is the first year finally that I've seen how beautiful this plant is. In the past years, they are nice and rounded, but not as round. So it was more like that fatness on the back there it was never these round leaves <laughs> fell off but it's okay because what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up because that is about to spread some seeds the oxalis so we have to remove this slowly okay I'm actually now in my front yard I had a quick look in my front yard before to check on the situation of my plants and it's not good a lot of work and that will take a lot of time so I can only manage to squeeze in a couple hours here and there when hubby's asleep so right now he snooze off he just had chemo last Thursday again we were at the hospital the whole day I actually have to uh, leave him for a couple of hours and then come back again oh look I've got, what is that green thing? Is that, what are you? Are you good or bad? See? Look at that insect. I don't know what you are. Hello, move. Doesn't want to move. Oh, a green grasshopper. Are you going to eat my plants? I think there's a leaf miner or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to leave you because I don't know what you're good for, but <laughs> I don't like killing insects just for the sake of killing them. I'll find out first what they are, and then when they're bad, then next time I see them, I do get rid of them. But for the meantime, I don't know whether it's a good insect or a bad insect, but for now, I'm going to... Ah, I just want to remove this. There you go. I finished cleaning it up. And I left one root of the oxalis somewhere underneath it. It's a bit hard to get to, so I've taken most of the top off, but the tap root is still there, so hopefully it doesn't grow back. But anyway, I need to chop, chop, chop this ones as well. And I leave it for now. I won't do any of these things that I said I'm going to do, and half of them I get done. The other half I don't. <laughs> but anyway, the, what do you call them? Orostakis. So this is the green Orostakis. What's your name? I can't remember all these names, so many plants. It's Malakofi, Malakofila, Ewaring Genkai, or Genkai. Anyway, that other one is just uh, Bomeri. This is just a standard one. I've got the variegated one inside, so I have to find a spot for it. I would prefer to have it in here, but this one dies down in winter, so if I bring this inside and actually grow it indoors, they will actually continue to grow. But being out here in winter, they actually die off, but then they come back. See, look, and I also have some here. Look at them. Look at them growing there. Anyway, a lot of plants have survived. Oh, look, I've got a yellow flower. What are you? I forgot what you, you call this. Is that a cosmos or something like that? But anywho, oh gorgeous, I didn't plant you. I think I planted you a couple of years ago. Maybe last year, did I have you last year? But I think the seed just dropped. So many things to do. I'm just talking to you and looking. And this, I have to find a spot as well. The Semper Vivum 
the, uh, I just found out my favorite Simple Vibe Womb is this, <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> Raspberry Ice. Because it's hairy and it's red. Look how cute that is. You really want to touch it and cuddle it and wear it. <laughs> Another hairy one here. The Ashes of Roses is also very pretty. Look at that. But they are going to stay here for now. And I will have to feel my way through them, basically, because it's middle of spring, of course, and soon summer is going to be here. The afternoon sun might kill them or they might like it because a lot of these ones are hybrids. So I don't know how they're going to behave or react to the sun or the summer sun. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here. But the rest of the gang, look, I've got weeds growing in this pot here which I really need to pull out just a couple of tweaking here and there not much to do and oh look the euphobia is flowering Medusa's head but this Nexana has to come off that one has to come off so I have to redo that although it looks pretty right now isn't it I think I should just leave it for now and wait again and see what I'm what they're doing basically the plant is uh, my actions are dictated by what the plants are doing now this one's not gonna grow that's from the purple delight which is quite large i like them but i don't like them big like that i prefer them to be a little bit on the small side now oh my goodness see this is my garden and yet i don't get to see this beautiful plants look at that isn't that gorgeous medusa's flanagani eye that's it did i say flanagani eye medusa's head anyway now this pot here this is so beautiful look this is like a bigger version of graptosedum nova and it's called echeveria <laughs> what is your name saragossa no you're not saragossa it was actually called stella series graptoveria stella series when i bought it so the Saragossa should still be somewhere here or is it dead, got covered up, maybe. But anywho, this one, or this pot here, look how beautiful that one is. Elation, so I am elated by your beauty. Now this one is Manda. Oh my goodness, how beautiful are you, Manda? Beautiful, look. I was supposed to chop that off many moons ago, but then I kept forgetting, and so it was inside under my 50% UV shade growth area and then now I moved it here. Now this one, they're all different plants are in here but that part is so gorgeous that I would really want to take all the plant, move it to the pot next to it when I have the time and look how beautiful. Bought some petunia to scatter in the garden so that to entice the bees to come around and say look we got some nectar for you. After a few more tweakings, look finally I managed to bring the big pot over here and move that one over there and I have to now take these rocks that's been sitting there for like uh, ages and I I can actually put that in my my workshop now the rest of the gang is now looking good here and they're gonna stay here until uh, the middle of autumn before we get our first frost they are going to move into my covered area protected area from the frost so but for now i'm just going to enjoy them and every day when i come here i'm going to lose a few hours just admiring this beautiful god's creations